What's up, YouTube? This is Sean from Sean's Aquaria. And here's an update on Project Fowler's sump. This is a do it yourself DIY 55 gallon Aquion sump that I actually inherited. I got the sump for free. It had come with three baffles installed that weren't installed correctly. So I took some corrective measures. What I did was I uh, got some acrylic baffles made up and uh, one mishap that I ran into is uh, we were trying to cut down one of the baffles and um, actually we were trying to groove it for um, for slots so that the uh, number five baffle could have some water flow through before the return pump and um, so I had to make do with a leftover piece of acrylic so um, I'm going to patent this before uh, CJ's aquariums can. Um, he, he saw this earlier when I was uh, looking at the finished product and thought it was a great idea. So let's just run through what we have here. So the first section, and you know everything's been siliconed in place by the way. Uh, this is the um, going to be the uh, downflow section where the skimmer will sit. And after the skimmer, we have a bubble trap. And the first and second baffles are the same height, except the second baffle is raised about two inches, about an inch and a half. And then the third baffle is a little bit shorter, and it holds a, um, a fluorescent uh, light. Uh, it's a light diffuser. Uh, they call it egg crate. So I cut that down to size, got it at Home Depot. And so that's going to be a media tray. CJ was telling me that I probably need it to be a little bit taller, or a little bit deeper. So we'll see how this one goes. I do have it pointed forward a little bit. So I'm hoping that the flow uh, will be good in it. And then baffle number four, obviously, is the second part of the media tray um, to hold it in place and to have a little bit of overflow. So the height difference is very subtle. And then, of course, that leads into the refugium. I plan on having Miracle Mud in the refugium at some point. And uh, here's what I'm gonna patent. So, um, these extenders come uh, with uh, the lids on a lot of fish tanks. So, what I did was I cut it down to size and uh, had my buddy uh, use his uh, jigsaw to um, cut some slots in it for me. And then we went ahead and silicone that in. And top side faces inward, so it's a flat surface coming out, and then the water is going to obviously go through the baffle. And uh, there's still an area at top to prevent fish from going over uh, top of it. So the sixth baffle is where the beginning of the ATO container is. And uh, based on my calculations, this ATO container is going to hold about eight gallons of water. And so that will be um, RO water uh, designed for topping off the pump area. So there we have it. We have a fully self-sufficient uh, sump that's going to be filtering Project Fowler, which is a 125 gallon Aquion non-drilled tank. I do have an uh, eShops um, drop kit. Um, a overflow kit coming in on Tuesday and that will give me the overflow I'm going to be using the mag 7 actually the pond master uh, mag 7 uh, return pump which is good for about 700 GPH and based on my calculations um, it's going to be more than enough so I will have a ball valve uh, installed on top of it um, to give uh, some flow control so it's not uh, gulping uh, too much so the next thing to do on this is to do a water test. I'm going to let the uh, silicone cure for about 24 hours, so I'll probably do the, the water test on Tuesday. So I have it here um, in my washroom, and I'm just going to hook it up to my RO uh, water connection. Uh, I'm actually going to unhook the RO, and I'm going to go ahead and um, hook my uh, filler hose up to it and, and put it through the test. And once I'm happy with everything, then the pump will... I'm sorry, the sump will be ready for install um, sometime this week. So um, 
that's where we're at right now. And I'm looking at a um, what skimmer I'm gonna finally end up with. So anyway, that's it for uh, the progress on this sump. And uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, please share, and uh, look forward to the water test in a couple of days. Thanks.